אתם בכיסם בכי אשר חינם ואני אקבל לכם בכי אל הדורס, השם said that the מרגלים caused כלל ישראל to cry for nothing and because of that it became a night of mourning for generations and that was the חורם בייס המקדש. The claim was that הבכיה was בכינס חינם. We were angry with Hashem over nothing. This sounds very familiar. The Beis HaMikdash was Chorev, it says, because of Sinas Chinam, Bayer Sheini. The two have something in common. Our estrangement from Hashem and our estrangement from one another are both labeled Chinam. The same way that the Jew should have recognized, the Jew in the Midbar, after Hashem goes, performs all of the miracles, goes through the Makis and Kriyas Yamsuf, turns every Jew into a prophet. He took a nation of slaves and turned them into a nation of Nevi'im. We stood at the foot of Har Sinai and we heard Anochi and Lo Yiyeh. After all of that, Jews still had complaints. They started going through the midbar, the desert, and miracles happened. The earth flattened. There was water. There was food from heaven that no one had ever tasted before. And you're complaining. And you have fear. Whose side is Hashem on? Is he friend or foe? That's ridiculous. And it's the same with one another. We're upset at one another because of this incident and that one. And families fall apart. And this one's broigas and this one doesn't talk. Friends break up. Marriages fall apart. Business relationships. One is suspicious of the other. Sure, we have problems. Sure, Jews make mistakes. Friends make mistakes. But the hatred is chinam. Understand that down at the core, we're there for one another. We've been through so much together. We have to get the big picture and stop getting caught up on relative trivia and hating. The Beis HaMikdash will be rebuilt when we start recognizing that Hashem is so close to us and when we start recognizing that we're so close to one another. It's the same underlying Nida. We get caught up in the need of the day and we lose sight of the big picture. We get caught up in our daily trivial issues and we hate and we fear and we run far from Hashem. The tshuva the tshuva that is going to bring back the Beis HaMikdash is getting to the essence. Is going to be overcoming these trivial issues and recognizing, yeah, I've got to deal with people. Of course, we've got to come to some kind of agreement. You can't just forget that there's nothing there. Forget that there's something going on between the two. You, of course there's this agreement. But not allow that to affect our appreciation for one another. We're all in this together. We're Jews. We love one another. We're a little mixed up, but we're Jews. And Hashem hides here and there, but He's there for us. Whether it be Nigla or Nister, He's always performing miracles. We have to love Hashem and love one another. And not get carried away with the issues of the day. And then we'll be Zoha to the real Gilu Shechina and a time when all of us will really cooperate, be on the same side, and there will be no war as, as the, the Psukim and Yeshayo predict. There will be a time of only peace. There will be a time of only joy. A time that will be close to Hashem forever and ever and ever.